two, two, and two. Hashtag your love at Therapy Jeff. Hashtag verse TV two, two, two D. You can't love someone else until you love yourself is bullshit. Because one, it implies that people with low self-esteem or mental health issues are incapable of loving others. Just sit with that. Do you think that's true? It's not. Many people that struggle to feel good about themselves can often be incredibly compassionate and loving towards others. Two, this dumbass phrase suggests that you must achieve a complete state of self-love before being capable of loving others. Who the fuck is that person? Because I would love to meet them. In reality, People are continuously evolving and self-love is often a lifelong journey rather than a finite destination. Three, it fails to acknowledge that for some, loving others can be a path to self-love and self-acceptance. The experience of loving and being loved is a healing journey that boosts your self-esteem and self-worth. So the notion that you can't love someone until you love yourself is out of touch with what we know about the human condition. People grappling with self-esteem and mental health issues are not just capable, but often extraordinary in the way they can love others. And let's not ignore that loving others, being loved in return can be the fucking roadmap to finding self-love. So let's do everyone a favor and toss this reductive bullshit phrase in the dumpster where it belongs. All right, therapy, Jeff. <laughs> Oh, is this? Everything? That's you. It's D. I just I wasn't even looking at the news because it probably clearly said my name. Um, I with what he was saying, really, actually, I do agree with him. When I was younger. Did I fully see that first? Probably not. But I understand what he's saying. And pretty much, there's no simple, easy way to, I guess, self love. It's really a learning process. And to be told, even Myself, it took me years before I definitely found anything attractive about myself. And I still don't, but it's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, um, people saying that you had to love yourself before you could love someone else, I actually don't believe that. Um, like, like, there are tons of people, probably more than tons, there are a lot of people in the world who just don't, they're not Point of self love, which personally I think is fine. It's just something you learn over time. That's what I. All right. And I will say. My initial reaction, the same as my connection. I just wrote down something new based on what you were saying and what Therapy Jeff was saying as far as self-love being a journey. And it's like, a journey, think of it as a journey rather than a destination because it's like, I, 
even talk about myself, how it took me a very long time to reach the level of self-love. And it's like, that's true. Self-love is also a journey. So it's like you evolve in your self-love every day. You know, it's not like, hey, I made it, self-love, I love myself now, great. You know, and it could feel like that, you know, and maybe there are some parts of the journey that are more milestone-like than other parts of the journey, but it is a journey. I do agree with him on that, and both of you, it, it, it's a journey. And I will use one of the popular buzzwords of the day and say it's sort of narcissistic mm -hmm. to say that you can't love another until you learn how to love yourself. And that does make it seem more like a destination less than a journey. And it, it's like, because every day you can be learning something new about how to love yourself, you know, like different parts of yourself at different places, you know, as you evolve, you know, I, I, I've learned to love my hand. It's like, oh, I also love my arm. You know, and you, they might not be at the exact same time, but it's a journey. And it's narcissistic to say otherwise. It's kind of like say, saying like, hi world, you can love me now. I love myself. Yes, great. It's like, or yes, Mr. DeVille, I'm ready for my close up, ready for love. You know, it's a struggle. And I did take issue with claiming that someone must have perfect self-love before they can find love. Like that's difficult because it's like, don't say that to somebody because like he said, it might be that you find your self-love on your journey of loving someone else. Now I will say kind of in contrast, two broken people can't fix each other. But maybe yes, and with a lot of patience, both or all people can equal a beautiful connection. And it's important to go to counseling. It's always important to go to counseling. You can with patience, though. Patience will be a requirement, always. Basic complexity or one square. Yes, and uh, it, so 